In this video, I'm going to show you how to measure the distance to a star using its parallax. And this is actually pretty easy. What you do is you take pictures of the star repeatedly over a year. So what you'll see in your image is the actual nearby star you're trying to measure and a whole bunch of much further away background stars. And over the year, you will find that the star you're trying to measure will move typically in an elliptical shape. It might be a circle, it might be a line, but it'll be some form of ellipse. Most likely it'll be somewhere in between the two, something like this. Whereas all the background stars will remain fixed because they're very far away. Now this elliptical motion is due to the motion of the Earth, the star is not moving. And what you just need to do is look at this distance there. So let me enlarge it, let's say this is the ellipse. You find the centre of the ellipse and measure what's called the semi-major axis, which is from the centre to the longest point. And that will be some angle theta. Measure it in arc seconds and the distance in parsecs is just equal to 1 over the angle of the semi-major axis in arc seconds. So if the angle is 1 arc second, the distance is 1 parsec. If it's half an arc second, it's 2 parsecs and so on. That's all there is to it. Now in practice, things are much more complicated because the angles these things move are very small and also the stars are typically moving. So and so what you're actually going to see is not an ellipse, but some sort of spiral pattern. But the same sort of thing applies. You can subtract off the actual relative motion of the star, bring it down to an ellipse and measure the semi-major axis.